let's look at this example of the 1 over 9 summation uh, to be able to see now how we can generalize this mathematical formulation. So the general form of this equation here um, would be the following. So rather than just for the 3 and 3, for any part of the image, I want to basically have 1 over something, which would be normalizing over this equation. Uh, so if, for example, in the instance where k is equal to 1, this would be 3, 1 over 3, that generalizes to that. Uh, and of course, what we're doing is sum, summing over the whole two-dimensional uh, region here. Now, of course, if you think about it, basically this is my index, and if I'm moving in this direction here and also up above, this direction is minus u, this direction is positive u, this direction is positive v, this direction is negative v. So allowing this, by just stepping through one by one, we can actually start with this. So the first term would be i plus u would be basically this element, move to this, move to this, depending on how we loop over a two-dimensional array like this, we'd be able to actually now accomplish something very similar to this. So in essence, this is basically allowing to us to loop over all pixels in the neighborhood around the image pixel fij. This basically is an attribute uniform, uh, attribute uniform weight on each pixel. So basically this allows us to do normalization like the way I did here for 1 over 9. The same equation, remember from last time, we want to actually have the more general form where basically we're no longer doing the averaging, but a general form of the filter would be actually this equation, right? Where we have basically taken the lowercase a and the uppercase a for, uh, for the, again, the third element. Generalizing this, we get this formulation. Again, going from minus k to plus k in both u and v directions, uh, we've actually now done is we've moved this part, which was the attribute weights, inside. So it actually also now depends on how things could change as we move around. And the same equation or the same terminology is right there. So this is now basically a more general form of what we want to actually do in trying to do simple filtering. So in this instance, this is the attribute, but it's the same as non-uniform weights because it does depend on where I am even inside this. Remember, in the case where we did this, all of the values were the same. In this case, they may not be. And of course, the same thing is still true for how we loop over both the matrices. This whole process is referred to as cross-correlation, sometimes also referred to or written as x-correlation. Uh, and it's something we will actually cover a little bit more in detail in the next lecture.